Hello YouTube, Real Shooting here. Today's video is going to be a short one. We're currently in the process of moving. My girlfriend and I just got a house pretty close to my favorite ponds that I fish, which is pretty good. We're also close to our parents. Much closer than where we were in the apartment and it gives us more space. If you hear some jingling in the background, that's Cooper. I'll show him on camera real quick. There he is. Close to one year old, cute little puppy. Yeah. Anyways, today's video, as you can see in the title, it's gonna be talking about my favorite jigs. And I brought out my box. This is the 3600 Plano, waterproof. This is the one I carry with me currently when I go fishing. And I brought out, of course, a couple of jigs. Now, last year was the first year, actually, no, not last year. The year before was the first year was it last year? Yes, I think it was last year. This is gonna be the first lure we're gonna talk about today. This here is actually the first jig that I've caught bass on. I really didn't have a lot of confidence in jigs in the beginning. So I had about, I don't know, five or eight of them in the box that never got used. But this year, I actually got this in one of the six cents. Their little, what do you call it? Six cents super sack with random lures monthly subscription. I ordered it one time a long time ago. I wanna say two years ago. And this is one of the jigs that came in it. Because of how heavy it was, I never really threw it. I didn't have a lot of confidence in it. I thought it was too big. But one time when I started fishing this on bedding bass, I really liked the shape of that head. As you can see how tore up it is. I mean, I fished this jig a lot. It has caught me many bass. The hook is still extremely sharp. And I like how that head just stays like that. You're bouncing this. You want to cast in front of the bed. I'll use this little lens cap pretend this is the circle where the bedding bass is you're gonna cast way out here bounce along sometimes they want you to drag it so you drag that right across the bed they'll come up destroy the lure and so this is what really got me into jig fishing now i originally thought i would only fish jigs on bedding bass but then i was introduced to the next jig which is a jig that my girlfriend got me on christmas this here is the Z-Man, I believe it's called the Snake Eyes Swim Jig. I really like the colors of this jig because some of the other jigs that I had, they were like plain, name brand, big box store, you know, the one color on the skirt. I guess that's why I really didn't have a lot of confidence in it. I know eventually I'll probably try them and they will work, but I believe this one's called New Gill and I really like this lure. I was swimming it one time, I just thought, you know, let's try the jig, maybe they'll bite it. I was getting zero bites that day. But when I threw this, I actually caught the biggest bass of the day. I want to say it was around three pounds. Very nice colors on that jig. So because I have confidence in that Z-Man Snake Eyes jig, I actually ordered another one. This one here is Green Pumpkin. So although this one is a solid color, it has a little bit of black specks in there. And as you can see, the painted head. And I like using the 3 8 ounce. So these two are 3 8 ounce. This bigger one is a half ounce back here. But I really like this one for fishing ponds. Shallower water, you want that lighter weight jig, but it's up to you how fast you want that lure to drop. And then here is another six cents divine hybrid jig. I forgot if I said that on this one, but this is actually the color's called dark proof. Let's get this to focus right here. You can see it has blue with green and black, a bunch of colors on there. So this one here, what was the name of this one? I believe it's called Cajun Craw. And this is a 3 8 ounce, so you can see it's much smaller. I've caught bass on this already, both swimming it, dragging the bottom, however you want to fish the lure. I really have a lot of confidence in jigs now. They're one of my go-to. Almost as much as fishing a Texas rig, which was my original go-to. I used to fish that only. And a couple of hard baits. And then last but not least, it's going to be this one. I got this one in the Guggen Squad Mondo kit box. Pretty good jig. I like that it's a swim jig because I do believe they work and I pair these up with a paddle tail so those claws are kicking in the back. I'm sorry I said paddle tail. I mean a crawl lure. You could use a paddle tail also which they did give in the box also so that's nice of them so you can match it. This one here is a bluegill pattern. I did catch bass the first time using this one and I believe can it show up on camera? It's very hard to see on camera but right here in small print it says 3 8 ounce so it says 3 8 right on the bottom of the head it's painted on there that's pretty nice that they do that pretty soft weed card and I just like swimming these lures so now I have confidence in both swim jigs 
and this hybrid jig from Six Sense. So if you ask me, I like the jigs from Six Sense, Z Man, and the Guggen Squad. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I will be bringing some more fishing videos soon. Stay tuned for that. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Anyways, you guys, that's going to be all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.